For this tutorial, I'm going to be giving y'all a special gift of this pattern for free. It's going to be in the description box down below so you can download it and print it. For this piece, you're going to cut one main fabric piece. Then for this piece, you want to cut one as well. Next, you are going to take some pelon and you're going to cut a piece for each of these fly pieces that you cut. You're now going to use your iron to press the pelon onto the fabric and we're just gonna press that down on as well seconds in each spot so in my last video i gave these different names so this is fly piece a because this is what we're going to be starting with and this is fly piece b so remember that throughout this video fly piece a fly piece b what you're going to do on fly piece a is that you're going to fold it right sides together like this and you're going to put two pins in the bottom right here and we're going to take it to the sewing machine and stitch right here with a quarter inch allowance. So you're going to take fly piece A after it's been stitched. You're going to clip away this excess fabric here and all the excess fabric down here. So you're pretty much cutting away all the excess fabric that's down here. So then you can turn it out like this. You want to just shimmy this so that the corner will be fully expressed and we're just going to press it flat like this. So with that being done, you're going to use your serger to serge along here and you're also going to use your serger to serge along here and here. If you don't have a serger, you can just skip this step. I'm going to be using this green zipper and it's honestly because this is the only zipper that I have. I'm going to be starting with the piece that has the inseam on this side. So the first thing that you want to do is to put your zipper on top of your fabric like this. You want to bring it up so that the jagged edge is kind of hanging off. So what I'm going to do I'm going to just zip it back up and then I'm going to fold it like this just to get these two jagged edges touching each other and I'm going to put a slit into the fabric into the zipper right there just so I can know what to put at the top of each of these okay so when I start here I'm gonna line up the clip that I put on the zipper with the top of the pants piece and I'm going to pin this into place so another thing I'm going to do is to clip into the fabric and the zipper right here that's just above this metal bar that's on the zipper so every zipper is gonna have a metal bar like this so I just clip into the zipper right there and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side so that I can have a marker that way I will get both sides being the same so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use my regular presser foot and I'm going to stitch the zipper to the pants and then I'm going to put this on top of it and I'm going to stitch again to mention that for the best results you want to also finish this area with your serger but again if you don't have a serger then you want to turn it by a quarter of an inch and just get rid of the raw edge I want to show you guys a close-up of what this looks like 
if you want to use a zipper foot then you can that will actually give you much neater results it's going to make you stitch closer to the zipper here but if you don't have a zipper foot you can always just use a regular foot the only thing is that you're not going to come as close as you see me come here all right next things next what you want to do is to put fly piece b on top of this fabric right here like this that is right sides together with the fabric and i'm just going to bring this up a tad bit right so you're going to pin along here and you are going to sew from the top coming down but what i want you to do is to put your two pants pieces right sides together like this and you're going to check to see where on this side does this slit fall. So you wanna then go ahead and match up that so that it's also on this side. With this slit being right here, you know not to stitch past this. So you're gonna stitch along here with a quarter inch seam allowance and then you're gonna turn it to the wrong side and top stitch. Okay, there it is, there it is. What you're gonna do now is that you are going to take this piece over here and put it on top of this piece over here. You wanna make sure that the top of the pants matches up and you also want to make sure that the zipper is covered. Once that is the case, you can go ahead and put one pin right here to hold that into place and then another pin down here to hold that into place as well then you're gonna go to the wrong side of the fabric and you're going to hold the zipper and this piece of fabric together so you're gonna hold the zipper and fly piece B together and you're going to put some pins so I'm putting one pin right here, one pin right here, and one pin right here. So I have three pins in this now. So what I'm going to do is to just remove the pins that I had put at the front here. And that way I'll be able to turn this piece away. And if I go to the wrong side of the fabric, I can see exactly where I'm going to be stitching. So I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to use my zipper foot to stitch along here. But like I said, if you don't have a zipper foot, then you don't have to worry about that. Just use your regular presser foot and you're going to make sure to stop right here before you get to this metal bar. The first thing is that you're gonna take this fabric and turn it away from the zipper. So you're pretty much putting it over to this side as opposed to being on this side. Once that is done, you are going to top stitch this fabric right here. You're going to top stitch it, but you're top stitching along the J that was right here. So you're going to be stitching on the outline of the J and when you come to about this point, you're going to take this piece and put it back underneath and keep on stitching. You don't even have to take a needle out of the fabric. And then once you get to this point, that's right above the metal bar, you're going to back stitch a couple of times. And then you're going to turn this over and you're gonna stitch from down here up to where these two slits are in your fabric to pretty much complete the front of this.
this is my zipper fly i know it might look confusing because of the african prints but this is the vibe this is the vibe boom so i like to open my seams and press them flat boom that way there's a much cleaner finish i hope you enjoyed this tutorial check out my next video up here